hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so we're going to talk about Aweber again we're going to talk about how to connect your lists with your campaigns and how does that work you know I've been using Aweber for a long time I've been using follow-up series and just recently I started using campaigns and I'm actually still kind of new to it so we're going to kind of learn together how to do this I've got a pretty good idea but I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it live with you because I need to get it done and I think it's a cool learning experience to see somebody else who's kind of fiddling around and learning things I hope you enjoy that too so we're going to get into that in just a second how to connect your lists to campaigns and make them all work in a logical way just like somebody like Russell Brunson talks about in and in his expert secrets or his dot-com secrets or traffic secrets books where he talks about how to connect lists not he doesn't talk about that necessarily he says but anyways we'll get into that in just a second just stay tuned for two seconds so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so that's one of the things okay so first of all we talk about lists and what I was telling you that Russell Brunson his in his books when he talks about the uh soap opera sequence he talks about the Seinfeld email sequences so that's the the that's what he teaches right he teaches that when you first get somebody on your list you got to send them a soap opera sequence so what is a soap opera sequence it's basically a series of five or so emails that you send to the person when they first join your list so the first email is going to be whatever you promised them that they would get by joining your list normally you have a freebie you have an ebook you have a like Russell has a free shipping well free books as long as you pay for shipping so kind of a free book and you know you get that by joining his list right you get that that book um that's not what most marketers do I mean like me I have some uh free ebooks you know like the simple online strategies that I have it's the top 10 simple online strategies you go there you get that you put your email in there and then you get that free ebook right you get the free ebook sent to your inbox so that you can you know you get you get it because that's what you're interested in right if you're not interested in you're not going to put your name and email in there so you're not going to get it right so that's the thing right so you you get somebody on your list by giving them something of value something that they want something they're willing to exchange their email for right so that's the basics of it but the thing is that how do you manage sending out emails I mean the thing is that one of the things they teach when you're talking when you're learning about attraction marketing when you're trying to promote a course when you're trying to promote anything you're trying to sell you will be there they're kind of telling you that you need to be sending an email a day and some people are like oh my god I can't do that but the thing is that if you send an email that is interesting that the person that signed up for is what they're interested in and they like that then they're going to be fine getting that email the thing is that it's going to make sure that you're first in their mind you're they're enjoying your emails it's like me I get like emails from I mean I don't know how many subscriptions I've got but I, whenever I get an email from you know Eric Quarry or Ray Higdon or Diane Hockman or 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 Russell Brunson or lots of other names that I can't remember right now but I like to get them I mean some I don't necessarily read them all obviously because I get a lot but I do not you know I'm not annoyed by it I like getting up once in a while I'll read some of them and I you know that's kind of how I stay connected right how I learn also what to do right I look at what others are doing this the ones that have success and I try to model it right that's one of the things Russell teaches as well right try to model what works right so so okay so now you have a list let's just go to Aweber here let me just share the screen move that over there share the screen over here um so this is a Weber dashboard you've got your a Weber set up you know if you if you're not sure how um go to uh a Weber dot right so you go there and go get yourself a free trial of 14 a, a free month if you want um and go 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 there and get that and once you have your uh once you have your a Weber account you need to set up uh, an email list so that is just under manage list you go and create the list then you have to get people on that list how do you get people on the list you have to have a freebie right I talk about this in lots of other episodes if you go to my channel you go look at the previous episodes you're going to see there's episodes that talk about how to get uh how to get leads how to get 
uh, how to set up Aweber how to create the list how to what are campaigns all these things we talked about all this today I just want to talk about how you connect them all together so let's just say you have your list everything's set up you got subscribers on your list like me for example if I look at this particular list well first of all let's just show you here I've got lots of lists right lots of lists some say just have one list but the thing is that in, if you're giving away different things you can't have just one list because every single list that every single thing you want to give away like me I've got um how to get your your uh, how to get your number how to get their number I I did an ebook on how to get here let me show you if I go I don't even know if it's where it is on my page but if I go to my blog if I go to my blog you're going to see on my blog uh, once it loads up here so you're going to see that I have the top 10 simple online strategy right over here I'm not sure if I have that anywhere in here yeah it's probably maybe it's on my old blog I have an old blog right success with js that's my first blog I created I have a lot of stuff on there still I gotta migrate it to a new platform and everything but for now this is this is the platform here and I had I had this right 10 newest secrets to get their number I also had uh if I go to where is it free stuff right here I had a bunch of stuff there I, I set all this up I have uh my 12 easy steps to monetize your passion so if you were to click on this it takes you to a page that asks for your name and it and an email and plays this uh, video and you put your name in there and you get on my list that is my simple no actually this one here was which one but it's a different list anyways I have different lists right so but each of these lists that you subscribe to that you get you'll get I think maybe, no I'm not sure which one it is there's there's a getting their number is one of the lists right so getting their number for example is the list for the for this one here right this one here where you would uh where is it well, actually it's on my home page so if you click on the ebook right there on my page and if you're listening to the audio I'm just showing my blog at successwithjs.com there's a neat, uh, a link that so this is it campaign. this is the free ebook and there's a it's just basically free ebook 10 new secrets on how to get their number right so you put your name and email in there you end up on my list called getting their number right so if I look at this and I look at the follow what I did so what what I originally did in the past was this I just created a, a follow-up series with a single message in it 10 newest secrets to getting their number that email somebody who subscribed would get that email they the person would join my list and they would get this email with a link on how to download that that ebook and all that right so the thing with that I'll just go back here the thing with that is it doesn't follow what Russell Bunch teaches it there's no soap opera sequence here there's no introductions there's no nothing and what I had done was that in my there's list automation in Aweber that I did right what I had done is there was a how do I do that I go in here um manage, manage where is that list options right so list settings so I would go to say the introduction list or actually where is this list automation list automation so there's a list automations so basically whenever you have if I go to this list introduction uh, the um actually I had a list that was called introduction now this list is I would get everybody subscribed to this list automatically so I had these uh, if I I had put all the lists in there now I removed a lot of them but if you if you were to subscribe to one of these lists you would get there so oh five of 27 if you all they're, they're actually all still there as you can see they're all set up so that if you subscribe to any of these lists you also get this introduction that now that's not what I want to do now I want to change how that works um so what I want what I'm going to show you right now is if I go to into the list I'm going kind of all over the place but the idea is that you have a list so you have a Weber number one you have a Weber number two you have a list and number three you have a follow-up series if you don't have that yet if you don't have a follow-up series you can create a campaign without it but for me I'm just going to show a conversion right so if I go to my introduction I go to my messages I go to my follow-up series um actually that's not the one I want to go to the the numbers one right so get their number okay get their number 
so if I'm in the follow-up series of get their number you can see there's one message here I'm going to I'm going to click on show this series in a campaign all right I click on that and that basically transfers the thing to a campaign now that's one thing I, because I want to disable this but I don't want to get I don't want to lose the statistics or all that so I'm going to take this message that's in here I'm going to copy it to drafts all right I copy the message to drafts then what I do is I go into campaigns I go into messages campaigns so now in this list I have a single uh campaign which is the follow-up series the original follow-up series I'm going to create a new campaign I'm going to call it welcome series it doesn't matter the name you can change it if you want <clears throat> but that's basically going to create it now I have I'm going to remove the messages that show up in here and I'm just going to on new subscribers I want to send the message so I just drag a message then I choose the message because I already have the message from my drafts right so I want to take this draft over here here's your ebook and I'm just going to select it and that's it so then what I want to do is I want to apply a tag so I'm going to apply the Seinfeld tag all right Seinfeld tag for me is just the tag that means okay they can start receiving the Seinfeld emails because what I want is I want them to be able to get these um uh, the, uh everybody that gets the the that gets a Seinfeld tag can now get my emails that I'm sending every single day I don't want to send I don't want somebody to subscribe to my list and then get on my, get on my Seinfeld list right away I want them to start getting so I want them to get the initial messages and actually you know what I'm going to change this because this one here I want to say introduction right uh well actually let's call this send intro intro emails or actually you know what let's use a subscription I'm gonna do um automations after they get this message uh I want to if they open this mess this message then I want to <coughs> oh I can't remove remove subscriber from campaign oh, okay so I, I was I was looking at what I would like to do is I would like it so that whenever they get this message the next message they get is the introduction right so I would want them to subscribe to my list so let's just see if the apply tag works so if I apply tag subscribe sub to intro let's just call it sub to intro and we're just going to save this <clears throat> and then we're going to deactivate this one and we're going to activate this one there we go all right so now the new welcome series which is the same emails that we had in the first one is active now what happens is if I go to uh if I go to my introduction let's just see if that works if I go to my introduction and I want to set up a campaign all right so we got the welcome oh see this is already set up as a as a campaign that's great I already did that so now what I want to do is trigger for new subscribers and let's just create a new one and I'm going to say uh, let's do another welcome series again so new new subs new sub from tag let's just do that and then we're going to go over here and let's edit this <clears throat> and I want to change that replace the trigger S select a new trigger tag applied so when these tags start the campaign if any of these tags so sub to intro start the campaign there we go so now uh, let's remove this let's remove all these because I don't want these and I want to save it I'm going to go back to the pause if it's green yeah that's fine <laughs> okay so I want to take go into here and I want to copy this one copy copy this whoops was, oh no oh I don't want to do that ah okay so I guess that's not where that happens I'm just I'm still learning with you right so basically what I want to do is I want to take all the messages that are in this template and maybe I can yeah right over here copy to drafts copy to drafts copy to drafts okay then I go to the other campaign over here <coughs> and I edit it I want to send the message so you can double click on the send message and then you choose a message 
and this will be the intro welcome select and then I want to wait a day I want to send another message choose a message message number two and then I want to wait and I want to send a message choose a message and then I want to the message number whoops this one here there we go <clears throat> okay and then I want to apply a tag whoops so now I want to tie the sign field <clears throat> okay so now now we have the new sub from tag activate this so we have two campaigns I don't know there might be a way uh, to uh, to have them both the same campaign or something I'm not sure yet but the idea is that we have both campaigns with the same messages except that one is whenever somebody subscribes to it which I can still I can probably disable because I won't need it anymore the other one is when they subscribe from a tag from another list so if I go to this other list getting their number that means that when they get them emails when they get these sub to intro right when they get this email then they get uh, subscribed to the intro list and if the intro list has these messages in it the introduction so the intro list has these messages in it that means that they'll get these messages right and then after they get these messages uh where is it new sub from list this one here <clears throat> so they'll then they'll get the Seinfeld tag that means that once they have the Seinfeld tag whenever I decide to send emails so if I go to messages here I want to go to my broadcast is that in here let's just uh, wait okay so these are older messages as you can see the open rate isn't always great <clears throat> but uh if I go to my simple online strategies over here right here so I've got my drafts in here I should probably move it to the other list but <clears throat> that's if I go to my schedule these are the ones that are still scheduled I should probably move them to the introduction because that's where I want to be able to say anybody who's in Seinfeld so so the way it works is if I go back to my introduction here introduction <clears throat> Uh, the first of all you have to manage your subscribers and in there you have to create a new um segment all right so I'm going to create a new segment I'm going to say search option I'm going to say tag is sign failed right there search and I'm going to click this and I'm going to say apply to all subscribers I'm going to say uh, save a seg oh I don't yeah I don't need to do that tag is Seinfeld just save a Seinfeld Seinfeld tag I'll just call it that save this <clears throat> and then when I go into my messages I can say send let, well let, whatever let's not worry about any of these messages I'm going to say schedule broadcast here I'm going to say who should receive this I'm going to say the segment I just want the Seinfeld tag people and just apply and I don't know if it'll tell you whoops I think it, yeah current list actually let's just do all lists but the Seinfeld tag so now what happens is only people that have the Seinfeld tag will receive this message that way if somebody subscribed just yesterday they won't be bombarded with the intro and whatever email they got plus the sign plus the email for that day the broadcast for that day so that's kind of how you do that so that's what I'm putting in place right now I've actually been sending emails every day to everybody regardless of whether subscribed yesterday or the day before uh, or a month ago and I'm sure that I've got a couple of people that got annoyed by that because that's just you know it's normal right I mean why would you like you subscribe to a list to get I don't know like for example right now I've got a TikTok course right if you subscribe to get my TikTok course here let's just go to the TikTok course I'll show you my list it's called TikTok masters uh if I go to this list right and I look at the subscribers I have here I have you know thousands hundred couple hundred sub 374 subscribers right and I actually did a uh let's just do tag is Seinfeld <coughs> and I I applied the tag let's see how many are there 370 there's 370 if I clear that 
uh, Joel 374 so there's four subscribers that are recently subscribed right because the Seinfeld uh, tag I applied I what I did is I did a search for I did a there's a date uh where is it date added right here I said before say May 1st I did a search that showed me everybody that um, was before that date so 370 out of 374 I can do date is after right <clears throat> so these are people that subscribe just recently right in the last little bit so I don't they don't they're not going to get my emails every single day sorry for anyways the so they're not going to get my emails every single day based on my Seinfeld the ones because I'm gonna organize that to send it only if they have that tag and that tag is only applied if they've received my introduction and if they've received their their orig original email that they re requested right so that's kind of how it all works I hope that made sense and I hope that I'm helping you and you're not I'm not making it more confusing but if you have any questions if you're not sure if you want to learn more then please reach out like I said you can if you want to learn how to get on my on list or if you want to understand how that works for sure go to my blog click on these on these links you click on this you get to to masterofsimple.com you put your name and email you'll get on my list you're going to see the messages I sent out maybe that'll give you some inspiration maybe the you know it's okay to subscribe to other marketers lists to just see what they're sending I do that all the time I have no problem with you doing that that would I would love that if you just got on there just to learn what I do that's fine if you don't like what I do then unsubscribe that's fine also right because everybody that's on my list uh you know they're 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 there because they originally thought there was something of interest if they're they if it's not always interesting then you know just unsubscribe that's no big deal at all uh, so go ahead and go there do that and uh, if you have any questions about Aweber if you have any questions about setting up a blog about setting up because all these things that they, they take time and I'm I'm trying to do a little bits of things every single day so you can learn a little bit and I'm not saying that you're going to become an expert after a couple days of listening or watching my episodes but I know that you will learn things and you will get better by just listing every once in a while and if it's every day that's awesome I post things every day I've got uh Alexa feed I've got uh, uh SoundCloud iTunes I'm going to be setting that up and I've got a blog obviously and an email list and I post on social media and everywhere so I mean I do that because I'm growing an audience I'm trying to I'm trying to find the people who are interested in these things so that I can help them and I can help you right so that's that's what I'm about I want to help you to get to where you want to go where wherever that is right wherever you want to go whatever you're trying to accomplish whatever you want in your business in your online world and if you're trying to learn attraction marketing personal branding if you're trying to learn how to blog you're trying to learn how to use social media platforms what are the best strategies I I can help you right I mean let's have a conversation I would love to help you and I would especially love to hear that you got results from my little tips and that would be so awesome all right so make sure you share and you go visit and let people know about this 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 podcast about this blog about this series of videos about this series of audios I would really appreciate it all right until next time We'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.